Hi everyone, welcome back again to another flooded tutorial block pattern series. And in this session, we will discuss about how to convert simple qubits to block. And for this example, we will be taking the AJ Accelerator app just to have a better continuation and understanding of the same. And here, you remember that the AJ Accelerator app we will be making use of simple qubits. That is, we have achieved this app with the help of simple qubits. And in this session, we will just discuss about how to do the same. That is, how to achieve the same kind of functionality with the help of block and it is very much easy let us just directly jump to the coding part and get this done for switching between qubits to block the first thing which we need to do is to create a block itself for that we can go to the lift folder and just the same way what you, how we will be creating a qubit we can create the block right click on the lift folder or the location where, where you need the block to be created you can just create a block with the help of this extension and provide a name for the block and in our case let me provide the same name this age calculator and after it is done you can see a separate folder called block and three files will be created out there rather in the qubits you will be having only two files one for states and another for the qubit that is for handling the methods rather in the cube block you will be having three files one for handling the states another for the events and another for the block itself and now what you need to do is First, starting with the states have the same kind of state that is we are going to have the same kind of four states here as well therefore we can just copy paste that state and just paste it over here we have the initial loading loaded and the error state right and once the states are done you can move to the events and in the events you'll be having only one event that is you know that this is the only event there calculate button is going to trigger only one event and you can just name that as get stage which extends the age calculator event and this event is going to play around with a string value which is the age val the value which we get from the text form field right and we need to create a constructor for the same let me create that all right now we have created the state and the events now let's move on to the block and say the block this is where this is where we will be writing the logic and before that you can just move that because the age calculator is the state name and i guess we need to have a const if event is get stage since this is the only event which we are having right now you can just have that and if the event is get stage we need to do the same exact thing which we have done in the qubits that is we need to check for this kind of logic you can just copy that go to the block and just paste it and here instead of just the age value you need to specify as event dot age val and just and you can just copy paste this logic function right over here yeah that's it now you'll be checking for the event that is if the event is get stage this is the event which we'll be later on triggering on the button press okay or if the event is get stage then you'll be checking for the same kind of logic which we have already discussed in the previous video that is if the text form field value is empty we'll be rendering a error state or else will be rendering a loading state followed by the uh, duration of three seconds will be rendering the loaded state that is just the basic we having age value right so th with this we end up creating a block for the same app now it's time to go to the home page and update the um with this with the help of block right and you can move to the routes folder since you are dealing with the generated routes you need to update that in here all right once it is done you need to go to the once it is done, you can just go to the on press event of the button and there is something we need to change Okay, you can just remove that 
instead of calling the method directly just in the case of qubits here in the block we need to make use of add and specify the event the event is the get stage and since we are going to deal with the constructor you need to pass in the value that is the data which we get from the text form field right and this is how you need to update the on press event that is calling or triggering a event specifically with this we end up uh, migrating from qubits to block just as an overview you need to create a block you need to update the routes you need to update the ui provide the um so you need to specify the block rather than qubits here and you say the on press event instead of directly calling the method just in case of qubits you here you need to make use of add of method and specify the event okay and if it is going to play around with any kind of variable you can just pass in that as well and that's it with this we complete the conversion or migration from qubits to block let's just check out how it works that it works the exact same way yeah the error condition error state is working fine i yeah, have a loading yeah. yeah the loaded state is also working fine you can here now this qubit folder is of no use you can just delete that well that's it guys this is how you can migrate from simple qubits to block in your flutter app hope you guys enjoy this video if you do so consider subscribing and i will see you in the next one bye